watch uh, Chad Morris from SMU for the other side of that matchup. And we've been joined by SMU coach Chad Morris. Uh, the Mustangs are 1-8 and eight overall, 0-5 in the American Athletic Conference. Uh, SMU was in action this past Friday against Temple. Uh, Temple won the game 60-40. to 40. Uh, Up next for the, midship, uh, for the Mustangs, as we said, are the midshipmen of Navy. Uh, that will be Saturday afternoon uh, in Annapolis, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time start on CBS Sports Network. Uh, Coach, thanks for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to um, uh, tie up the game against Temple, please, and tell us what you expect to see as you make the, uh, the road trip to Annapolis to face Navy. Well, we had a uh, – obviously uh, had a very tough Temple team coming in uh, last Friday – um, that jumped out on an early lead on us. And, uh, um, you know, our guys, I was really proud of the way our guys battled back. Again, uh, one of the best defenses in, in the conference and in the country. You know, they battled Notre Dame to the wire. Um, and so I knew we had our work cut out for us. Our guys uh, played exceptionally hard. We had the uh, had the ball with about two and a half minutes to go, down by five, um, and uh, with a chance to win it. And, and and that's what you ask of your guys, especially as you're building this program. Um, and obviously, the score 60 to 40 is not vindictive of of how the game truly was. It was it was a, a very tight ball game, uh, especially the second half, um, all the way through. And um, but um, again, we just we, we we were unable to finish. We we're unable to find ways to win, uh, especially in in. Uh, um, critical times and that's uh, that's a learning process that's, that comes with playing a bunch of young guys but uh, extremely proud of our guys effort our guys are playing exceptionally hard um and um and that's that's always something that you can build on uh, we've got a very tough opponent this week uh, in navy um and a very established program guys their guys play so hard um and so relentless and very impressed to watch these guys on film um, but uh, but our guys are going to play hard and, and look forward to the challenge that we have ahead of us. Take questions for Coach Morris, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. Our first question comes from Peter Iacobelli from the Associated Press, South Carolina. Uh, hey, Chad, it's Pete Iacobelli from the AP in South Carolina. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Pete. How are you? I'm doing well. Listen, I wanted to just ask something about Clemson about the job that Tony and Jeff are doing. What gave you confidence, you know, the assurity that that these guys were ready when the came, time came for you to uh to to go and take the job you're at now? Well, I mean, I I knew those guys would be ready to go. They're very very smart football coaches. Uh they're great men. Um they have a great great way of dealing with play their kids, uh the players. They got great respect among them, um, and uh, and I knew you know they the way they were with me now for with me for four years and and understood our system inside and out uh, and what what we were looking for and how the system runs and and how you adjust and and um, and you game plan. So uh, it doesn't surprise me. I mean I, I'm I'm really proud of those guys and and obviously proud of the players because they they bought in. They bought in at a time. To where it was a pivotal pivotal point in time in in the history of Clemson football um, four years ago five years ago and uh, they bought into what we were trying to do and um, and it's just it's really it's really good to see I, I'm so proud of those guys all of them and obviously Dabo's got a great vision um, and um, you know it's just uh, uh, impressive to watch those guys um, run run the system you know and, and I'm guessing too Chad that. Uh, you know, when you say you're proud of the guys, you're proud of Deshaun, too, the way he's kind of bounced back from people wondering whether he was going to be brittle enough or healthy enough to stay on the field, you're kind of managing things in such a way this year that, that has Clemson where they are at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I've got a special relationship with him. Obviously, you know, when you recruit a guy for four straight years uh, to get him there, um, I mean, that was almost just my sole recruit. I mean, I just kind of took and said, this is going to be my main guy and spent four years to get him and, and, uh, uh, to watch his success and, um, and, and watch what he's doing. Well, that doesn't surprise me because he's such a fierce competitor and, uh, just so calm. I mean, even as a, as a true freshman last year, the game was, the game was slow to him. Um, and I mean, slow, everything he could see it, he could process it. And he played. He played with great confidence. And uh, to see him staying healthy this year has been a has been a treat. And 
uh, again, they, you know, those guys, they, they take it one, one game at a time, and, and that's the maturity that they have, and it's the great vision that, that, that Coach Sweeney puts in front of those guys each and every day. Yeah, uh, thanks, Chad. Good luck. We're watching you guys up here. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question comes from Dan Tortora from Dan Tortora Broadcast Media. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm doing good. To uh, look at this game that you said, obviously, the, the score doesn't show how close it was, especially in the second half, with, with less than a touchdown separation against Temple, with eight minutes to play. Just what you can say about your team's resolve and fighting all the way through and, and having that 45-40 with eight minutes left in, in the fourth quarter, just what you can say about where the team's at right now. Well, I mean, you know, again, our guys just they don't quit. They're playing exceptionally hard for us. And, um, you know, even when we got down 14 to nothing, it, it was, it was, you know, there, there was no, no flinch to us. Uh, the guys just kept responding back. We knew we were playing against a, a really talented defense a group that played exceptionally hard, only giving up like 24 points all year long, the most to any team. And so we knew we had our work cut out for us. And, uh, but to see that, that, that we were as close as we were, um, with basically it was two minutes and 30 seconds to go with the ball in our hand um, with a chance to go win the game, uh, 45-40 at that point. And so, uh, you know, I, I, again, and I said it, our guys have got to find a way to win instead of trying to find a way to lose. And, and that become you know, that that's a culture. That's something you have to change. And, 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 and I firmly believe if you keep playing hard, um, good things are going to happen. Uh, we're not creating any turnovers right now, so we're almost having to play perfect. Um, we turned the ball over twice, uh, which resulted in 10 points for, for Temple. Um, but uh, but still, you know, our, our, again, our guys are playing hard. We're, we're, when we make a mistake, it goes for six. We gave up 11 big plays on defense, and four of those were touchdowns. And so, and especially after a, a, a quick turn, um, we get we get the lead cut um, really I think it was 38 31 and um, and then all of a sudden we give them a, a just a first play bust 75 yard touchdown pass and so those things we got we got to eliminate but uh, again I, I can't say enough about our effort uh, but we've got we we got to quit shooting ourselves in the foot and again that's just finding a way to win though. When you're looking at coming onto this team and, and changing the culture and, and trying to do things, you know, your way, get the environment to an environment of winning, where do you feel the team is at right now? Because like you said, you've played in a, a lot of games and been very, very close, but just made those mistakes that end up going for six. So how close is this team to really being in that environment that you've been trying to create? Well, we're extremely close. When you look at everything and you look at our schedule, I mean, we've played the hardest schedule of anyone in our conference. Uh, I mean, we're, we're playing six top 20 opponents or top 25 opponents. And in our seventh opponent was, was Jane Madison, which was one of the, the premier FCS teams. And so seven of our 12 teams have been in the, in the tops in the league in, 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 uh, in the country. And so we've, 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 we've battled we've been battle tested against some of the top teams around and so we've just got to you know we're close because we're you know you're within five points of of tcu with seven minutes to go in the game you're within five points of 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 temple with two minutes to go in the game and so you know you're you're so close you're you're you have a chance to tie the game up against baylor uh you're down by seven late in the third quarter against baylor so those things um you know the thing I would say is, much like Temple um, Friday night, I mean, we've got a fourth down and four call, and we have a great call with to a wide-open receiver, and their linebacker makes an unbelievable play. So good teams find ways to win. And so we, we've we got to learn that. And in order to get that, you've got to have a signature win somewhere along the way and uh, to give you that sp- that that spark give you that over the hump and so our guys are playing hard we're very close um but uh but yet you you can't come out and turn the ball over and not create any turnovers and expect to expect to overcome things like this and so unfortunately we're playing against a uh a team that's second in the country in, in turnover margin i mean i think they're plus navy's plus 12 so they don't turn the ball over they do a great job taking it away and and uh, and we're going to have to play really really well to uh to 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 have a chance with this thing
Thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Can we time for one more for Coach Morris, please? We have a question from Ronnie Woodard from Greenville B- Daily Reflector. Hey, Coach. How are you? Hey, Ronnie. Um, you touched on it there a little bit, but just looking at uh, Temple and then you get Navy back-to-back. I know you have Memphis coming up, but you haven't caught any breaks with this schedule. But, I mean, does this stretch remind you of early in the year when you had to play Baylor and, and TCU and some of those teams? Yeah, I mean, it, it does. And, and um, you know, you just uh, – you. you you have to play it. I mean, there's nothing. When we had no control over this, and and uh, it's just the way the schedule fell. I mean, you got some teams in our conference that that hadn't played any, of, you know, any 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 of the top opponents, or, or or maybe they get one or two. Well, we get four or five of them, and that's just part of it. And that's what I tell our guys: is look, this is this is just part of the process that's going to continue to build this program. And 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 we're, we're close. We've got to find a way to win. And uh, you know, getting Temple. Um, and and knowing what what a caliber of team that they have, uh, and what Matt has done up there, and 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 now going having to travel to Navy and and uh, you know the very established program, um, that uh, I'm very impressed with the way that their guys play and and uh, them coming off of beating a number 13 ranked team in Memphis, and so you know they're 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 definitely battle tested and proven and. Um, we got our work cut out for us as we go up there, but uh, uh, you know our guys are, are just—I can't say enough about how our guys are playing. We we are playing exceptionally hard, um, but we're just not helping ourselves out. I mean, we're, we're, we're when you turn the ball over, uh, it's really really hard, uh, especially when you're trying to build this thing um, to to overcome some some of those adversities that you hit. Gotcha, gotcha. Thanks, Coach. Uh huh. Coach, we thank you for your time this morning. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. You bet. Thank you. Okay, again, that is Coach Chad Morris from SMU. The Mustangs will be at Navy Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on CBS Sports Network.